Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T for 365 Horror, and this is a horror movie discovery channel. I am just here to put as many horror movies on your watch list as possible. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at four brand new releases for you guys to watch and stream today. So let's get into it right now. Now we are going to get into the video, but before we do, I've got to remind you guys to please like and subscribe if you like this content. Also, this video is best watched with the movie tracker. I like to use Letterboxd. It's just the easiest way to keep track of the movies that you've seen and want to see. I also want to touch on the availability of these titles as I have personally went to each of the services and verified that these are released. If you're not seeing them, it's more than likely one of two reasons. One, you could be region locked. Sometimes these movies don't release in Canada right away. And the second reason could be if you're using the alternative media sites, the free stuff. It could take a minute because sometimes these movies don't show up for a couple days. And lastly, these are just a preview. These are not reviews and recommendations. As always, I've included chapters in the description so you can skip any of the trailer reactions if you don't want to. You can skip any of the movies you don't like. The power is yours. But if you did want some reviews and recommendations, then I suggest you watch my movie review series, my You Should Watch series, or any of my movie list series. This here is just a little something for the diehards like me that are always looking for something new to watch. And with that, let's get right to the new movies. Okay, the first movie we're going to take a look at this week is a horror thriller named Black Cab. And this movie is available on Shudder. A couple who find their jovial cab driver diverts them to a remote, haunted road, revealing disturbing motives and his true intentions. It is directed by Bruce Goodison. Okay, after watching the trailer for Black Cab, this one looks like a good supernatural thriller horror. Now, when it came to the creeps and scares, not only did this movie give me the impression that it would have some good tension in like the escape scenes and the trap scenes, but I also thought that we could get some good creeps and scares when it kind of transitions into this supernatural tale that they threw in, which was a pleasant surprise from me. And it even looked like with some of the supernatural scenes that we would even get some good jump scares. Now, when it came to the gore in the film, I didn't really see much, but you do get to see him use like some stun batons. So I do think that the movie will have some a little bit of blood and some light torture. Now, I thought that the premise for this one actually looked really good. I did like this kind of kidnapping story even though it seemed run of the mill but i like the fact that he's bringing them to a remote haunted road and it even seems like the reason kind of ties into the story and you know, some characters don't know what's going on so i did like that element and it felt a little bit original to top it off in this movie the acting and production also looked good when it comes to black cab this movie looks like a good supernatural thriller that will get a regular to higher priority on my watch list i've picked you up before and i the hospital. Hospital? No, he doesn't. Yes, I did. So Mary's maternity. What's he talking about? He doesn't know, does he? I'm getting out. Next movie we're going to take a look at is a crime horror thriller called He Never Left. And this movie's available on VOD Digital. It's not Pale Face. After hearing disturbing noises from the next motel room, a fugitive on the run and his girlfriend become prey to the notorious, brutal Paleface Killer, whose legend has haunted the local community for decades. It is directed by James Morris. Okay, so after watching the trailer for Never Left, this one looks like a decent slasher. Now, when it came to the creeps and scares, I just didn't see many when it came to the trailer. Now, moving on to the topic of gore in the trailer, there was some, but I definitely see this movie being a little bit more kind of bloody than gory. Now, the character acting seemed different, and there was definitely some big emotions shown in the trailer, and they didn't feel wooden and were acted well. Now, the story for this one definitely feels a little bit cliche, but I'm always interested to see a new perspective villain, and this character that we get, Paleface, he actually looks moderately intimidating. Overall, He Never Left looks like a decent slasher that will be getting a regular priority on my watch list. So where is he? Maybe Paleface is back. So what the hell happened? Gabe. Next movie we're going to take a look at is a action horror mystery named Drive Back. 
And this movie is available on VOD Digital. <sighs> a couple returning from their engagement party must escape a sinister and seemingly endless road. It is directed by Cody Ashford. Okay, so after watching the trailer for Drive Back, I thought that this looked like a good supernatural mystery horror. Now, when it came to the creeps and scares, you definitely see a couple of good elements in the trailer, and it looked good on both fronts. Some of the moments in the trailer had a very creepy feel, and I could see us getting some jump scares out of it. Now, when it comes to the gore, we just didn't see any in the trailer, so I think gorehounds just might be out of luck on this one. Now, when it came to the premise, I love these kind of reoccurring stories where characters are like coming into a room multiple times, especially when they realize that they're caught in a loop and they kind of have to figure out how to escape it. Now mix that with a good supernatural element, some creepy visuals, and a good performance, and this movie could offer us something. I personally thought the trailer for Drive Back was good, and I think this movie's gonna get a regular to higher priority on my watch list. Looks like we'll have an easy breezy drive home. People have a tendency to get lost around here. <laughs> they might want to take the back road by the creek. Oh, there's a back road? I'll have us home in no time. Lastly, we're going to take a look at a crime horror thriller called Kirsten Baja, and this movie is available on VOD Digital. Pirelli, an ex-lawman, travels to Mexico searching for the heir to a Los Angeles fortune while confronting his own complicated past. But what he finds in Baja challenges him to the core. It is directed by Jeff Daniel Phillips. Okay, so after watching the trailer for Kirsten Baja, this one looks like a little bit of a meh creature crime horror. Now, when it came to the creeps and scares in this film, it did look a little bit more action-based, so I doubt we're just going to get many creeps, maybe a couple jump scares in the movie. Now, when it came to the gore in this one, the film looks like it has quite a bit of gore, as we do see some torture scenes, and we see some scenes where creatures are kind of feeding on bodies, entrails out everywhere. So I do think that we're gonna get the most gore we're gonna see today, and at least the effects look practical. Now the premise and story in this one didn't feel original and is just nothing to highlight. Basically just a man facing conflict while confronting his past. Now the acting and the production on this one only seemed okay, with the acting feeling a little bit meh because the dialogue felt a little bit wooden. Now, Kirsten Baja looks like it could be a decently bloody, action-packed ride, but for me, it's probably going to get a little bit of a lower priority on my watch list. You're a man haunted by his demons. And you need to understand the evil that you're capable of, or you're going to end up right back here, or worse, dead. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me for new releases to watch and stream. I hope you enjoyed this content, and if you did find a couple of gems for your watch list, please leave me a like and subscribe. Now, if I had to make a couple of picks this week, the first one I would make is Black Cab. I just thought the movie looked intense. It looked like it had a really good supernatural element with some creeps and scares in it. Uh, I did like the premise. I liked some of the story elements. Like I said, the cabbie devolving information and one of the couple not really knowing what he's talking about. So it looks like we're going to get some good devastating revelations out of the movie. So that one could be pretty good and it's going to be my first pick of the week. And my second pick for this week is going to be the movie Drive Back. I just love the supernatural element. Again, I like those kind of reoccurring stories. It seemed interesting. Uh, and some of the supernatural elements actually look creepy and interesting. People flying, ghostly images. I just didn't really expect it from a movie like this. So I'm kind of interested to see exactly where they ended up on this road or what the origin story is going to be behind it. So that built a little bit of mystery and kind of made me interested in the movie already. Well, guys, I'm going to get out of here, and if you've made it this far into the video, I definitely appreciate you. I have got to get out of here, as I have got a ton of movies to watch. I hope you guys have been good in taking care of yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Please, Daddy, I'm scared.